Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, when Dollar Hide Mercantile shut down, of course, I got my muzzle loaders back, I got a few Idaho pattern bandanas back, and somehow or other, I also ended up with a box of unsold stationery that they had. Uh, specifically, uh, a whole bunch of these greeting cards with pictures of cats on them. So, what on earth am I gonna do with a bunch of cat cards? I mean, I'm sure Dollar Hyde's original idea was to sell these to cat lovers and friends and family of cat lovers, people who'd want to send greeting cards with pictures of cats on them to each other. Well, you know, I appreciate cats as a form of organic rodent control. In fact, maybe you can hear my rodent control squad squawking in the background. I have no idea why they're uh, squawking. They're probably bragging about how many voles they've eaten this year. Uh, but I don't consider myself a cat lover in the sense that some people are. Um, I think we know maybe a couple of cat lovers. Maybe in the course of a lifetime, my wife and I could send out a dozen of these, or, or even two dozen. But we have like 2,000 of them in the box. So, I've been trying to figure out how to get rid of these things, or how to get them into the hands of people that can make better use of them than I can. Uh, to that end, I've listed them in bulk on eBay. And who knows, maybe cat lovers will find them there, but I don't feel like I really have any strong connections to the cat lover market or society. Uh, so I've been trying to think of other markets or other people who might have uses for these. And actually, one idea that I had was, well, maybe the intersection of cat haters and people who are into tactical training uh, would actually have a use for these. Because, you know, if you hate cats so severely that you see a picture like this and you have a visceral, you know, response that just says, THREAT, uh, then these could be very effective training aids to practice your threat response. Um, that said, I don't hate cats myself. I do kind of hate mice, or at least the destruction that mice and other rodents cause to my stuff. Uh, so the cats kind of endear themselves to me by keeping the rodents under control. But then I got to thinking that, you know, even for people like me who don't hate cats, these could be useful as a tactical training aid. Uh, for example, I could set up a course with cardboard silhouettes or, you know, other generic targets to act as threats, uh, and then I could put these up either on the target, you know, taped to the cardboard silhouette, or otherwise in the vicinity of the target to serve as no-shoots, you know, basically as hostage targets. Uh, so then my goal would be to run through the course and neutralize all the threatening targets without harming the hostages. Or maybe another thing I could do, uh, since there's a few different styles of these, is uh, put them up again on targets in a course, and maybe I decide that this one is the hostage and these two are the threats. And so I use them to differentiate between targets uh, so that I have to differentiate between targets on the clock as I'm running the course. Uh, that seems like it could potentially be a useful exercise. In fact, why don't we go ahead and set up a course like that and just give it a try.
Well, that was fun. Uh, as you may have noticed, at one point, as I was running that course, I actually got two jugs with one shot. Unfortunately, one of them was a hostage. I kind of shot through the hostile and into the hostage there. So, if this had been an actual scored competition, I'm sure I would have incurred a penalty for that. But, anyway... Um, as you saw, I tried these out both on gallon jugs and on steel targets. Uh, they worked fine in both cases, as I'm sure they would on paper or cardboard targets, but I really kind of like the steel the best, because when the card is taped to a steel target, uh, then when you shoot the card, the bullet goes through the card, makes a small hole, and then hits the steel, and you know, flattens out into a sheet of spalling that comes off the, the steel target, completely obliterating the tape and causing the card to sort of jump into the air and then flutter down as the steel target is falling over. Uh, so that makes for kind of an exciting visual effect, I thought. Anyway, so I guess this gives me a fun way to use up a few of these cards while I'm trying to unload the bulk of them on eBay. So, anyway, till next time, thank you for watching The Idaho Owen Show.